The 16th ranked Hurricanes against a team that has been a pain for them in the ACC. The Tar Heels, Jeff Thomas with the return. He is very dangerous, but takes a big hit in the backfield alongside him. And a play fake right away. Perry delivers on the money. And that is why they love this kid. It's one play, but he has got a lot of talent in that right arm. Might almost jump. Perry will hand it off again. And again, just nowhere to go for Travis Homer. He goes backwards. Jonathan Vilma, by the way, maybe huffing and puffing a little bit. We'll see how good a shape he's still in. He's back with us in the booth. Had a quick hitter, but the tackle well short of the first down. Daryl Langham with the catch. It's going to be fourth down. Miami's going to punt the ball away. And Jonathan is here with us upstairs on second down. Elliott will throw for the first time. He's got a wide open man for a first down. North Carolina outside the 30, close to the 35. That's the senior Thomas Jackson with the catch. Second and two. Elliott throws. That one is caught. The big hit. But the receiver hangs on to the ball. First down. First down, Carolina. This is Carter right up the middle. A huge hole. Carter still on his feet inside the 35. Down to about the 33. Great design right here. <clears throat> you have man on man pulling to get. Carolina gets the play snap. They're going to give it to Carter, who turns the corner. Carter with that burst of speed down the sidelines, cuts it inside with the power running inside the 10 and inside the 5, where it's going to be first and goal. And we've seen the talent of both Williams and especially Michael Carter already. A play fake. Elliott trying to keep it. That is the wrong place to go. You challenge Shaq Quarterman, and a lot of times you go backwards. A star for the Hurricane Shaq Quarterman. We're going to hear from him when we come back here to Miami. 3 nothing. Carolina with the lead. A third and goal from the five. Elliott looking to throw. He's got time. Kind of lobs it up there incomplete. Did not get it all the way to Daz Newsom. Basically like an extra point here, just 22 yards for Freeman Jones, who is a typically reliable kicker. That one, he hooked it, but it's through. Man, that was probably a little less easy than Carolina thought it would be. Completed his first pass down the field for a nice game, but then was stopped. Perry this time with that strong arm all the way across the field out to the 40. That's a Miami first down, and that's the true freshman Brian Hightower. Take the snap here on first down and hand it to Travis Homer. The nice cut back and he finds some room to the 40, to the 30, inside the 20. Travis Homer stretching and not quite there. Just a couple yards short. Carolina with the big plays on the ground. Miami answers. Eight guys in the box. You see here, just stepped out of bounds before getting to the end zone. North Carolina put eight guys in the box specifically to force Nikosi Perry to check out of it and pass the ball. Kudos to offensive line getting man on man, getting Travis Homer open. Great job by him. And now Homer, who might be breathing a little heavy, 56-yard run. He comes out. DJ Dallas <laughs> is going to walk in. So Homer does most of the work. DJ gets the touchdown. He gets the touchdown. He gets the glory. But you know we got again, Gene, as you mentioned. Him with the vision to cut it out the backside. But Dallas, DJ Dallas Jones, he's over there. He makes an easy touchdown. He changes him every week. They will rush four, and here comes a pressure. The ball's out. Scooped up the Hurricanes defense into the end zone. Touchdown, John Garvin. After Quarterman got the hit and forced the fumble. Well, we talked about Manny Diaz dialing up defenses, right? Here you can see the left end. He steps up three yards, comes in loops underneath. They get a two-on-one on the guard. He comes free, gets the sack, the fumble, and then you get the touchdown hey, for the Hey, Gene, you talk about a great look. Look who's making that. The left end was Shaq Quarterman. You don't really see that look coming from Manny Diaz. That might be one of those defenses of the week for North Carolina. Right, that's a great job by him because he stepped a linebacker up into the B gap. Is a talented sophomore. His first action of the year. Michael Carter with his speed. Got to the outside. He's not just a speed back. He's got some power too. For more on the new quarterback for Carolina, let's go down to Laura. Welcome to college football this year, Chaz. Now go up against the Hurricanes and they're hard hitters. They he goes are. backwards. 
Going back to what Laura said about not shaking his confidence, I mean, the quickest way to shake a guy's confidence is to take him out as soon as he makes a poor play. Third and 12. So Rack got rid of it quickly, incomplete. Maybe too quickly intended for Jackson. It's fourth down. Well, again, this is what you see from a Manny Diaz defense. Third down, they're number one in the country in getting off the field on third down. Why is that? Because he's going to dial up the pressures. He's going to dial up the blitzes, and it makes guys nervous. That was a, like a bubble After screen. the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number nine on the defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic. First down. Carolina's into Miami territory. They are going to go Wildcat. Ratliff Williams. And the misdirection. The ball got to Carter, the running back. And he has a nice game for another Carolina first down. Carter's already got 81 yards on the ground. Surratt, option play, kept it. And takes a hit, but dives forward. And I think he got the first down. It's a similar formation. We've seen this already in this game with all three running backs in the backfield with him. Surratt will give it. No, he kept it, and that fooled the Miami defense. Surratt, touchdown! Great ball handling, and then you saw the athleticism. Carolina takes advantage of the penalty, and they cut down that Miami lead. Jazz Surratt just into the game. The ball handling, the speed, the cut, and a touchdown for the Tar Heels back in just a few seconds. Sort of the opposite for Perry, where they're trying to get him up to speed, and they feel like he is up to speed now with the mental aspect. There is no issue with accuracy. This guy puts it on the money. This time to Darrell Langham once again into North Carolina territory. Zier struggled. But let's talk about what Perry has done. Last week he goes into the game. First two drives. Perry is going to run, and this is a part of his game, too, as he gets down, he did not slide, and he gets the first down because of it. A permanent change, we don't know that yet. What we do know is Nkosi Perry has made a great first impression. D.J. Dallas broke the tackle to the outside and down to the 21st down Miami. Perry in the pocket, now dancing around a little bit. He's got to protect himself, and that's one thing for a young quarterback who does have athleticism. Well, let's see on third down, which has been such an emphasis for the Hurricanes. Perry throws across the middle. It's knocked away incomplete. Good play on the ball there by Carolina. It'll be fourth down, intended for Langham. Patrice Rene knocked it away. The 35-yard try for the true freshman Bubba Baxa, who's been pretty impressive early in his Miami career. He punches it down the middle, and it's a seven-point lead for Miami. More than 100 yards so far tonight. Carter himself with 81. And a play fake. Chaz Surratt, who can really move. Look at him. Leap over tacklers. Outside of the 45-yard line, he does bring a different element to this North Carolina offense. Type of offense. And he's done a tremendous job of blocking. All the guys are blocking and counting for. Have to force the issue and bring more guys into the box, opening up the pass. That was the first catch of the year for Bo Corrales, who had a big game last year against Miami. He's one of the players who had to serve that suspension, making his debut tonight. Well, here we go. Carolina does like to do this. Ratliff Williams, who can throw the ball, handed it off for the Wildcat, and Carter gets swarmed all the way back to midfield. He goes down. Gerald Willis led the way. He had some help. Averaging 11 and a half tackles for loss per game. That is off the chart. Guess who leads it? Willis. And now it's third and 17 after Willis made the huge tackle for loss. Surratt pressure comes immediately. Oh, and he goodness. throws a pick <laughs> right into the breadbasket. Joe Jackson, touchdown. Point for all you quarterbacks out there. Don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we educate here on Thursday Night College Football. First and ten into Miami territory. And Carter this time just had nowhere to go. And guess who leading away? Shaq Quarterman having a huge first half for Miami. Only problem is when you turn it over and then score, you can't wear the chain for very long because you got to get right back on the field. Michael Carter, meanwhile, goes backwards. Another tackle for loss for this Miami defense. Can Carolina recover? Surratt keeps it. This has been about the best play for the Tar Heels, and Chaz Surratt in the open field is really impressive. Takes a hit at the end of the play, but out close to the 45. You like your guy to fight for some extra yards, but 
This time Brown gets the carry and another one just added to the column. This time Mike Smith, who doesn't even play a lot of snaps, he was in the backfield right away. Third and ten. Surratt. Here comes the pressure. He'll step up and again hit from behind. The ball comes out. A huge hit from behind. He didn't see it coming. Carolina did. Pounce on the ball. That's number 99 again. Joe Jackson almost got the chain again. Always around the football. I love his relentless play. He works. He never stops working. He's going to fight and claw and scratch. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Second and five for Miami. The handoff left side. Big hole. Dallas first down and more to the 45. DJ Dallas out of bounds right around midfield. That are lined up, and the New York North Carolina defense is short a man. They tried to play two uh, safety over the top of the receivers. That left that op that side wide open for a gash by DJ Dallas. So it's a good point. It's a play with the athleticism of the running back against a conference opponent and a team that's given Miami fits the last few years. Play fake. Perry's going to get those shoulders squared around the end. Strength and the completion inside the 10 down to the five. There's that connection that Laura was talking about. Michael Harley. A and, flick of the wrist. And again, Gene, you talked about how hard it is to roll to your left if you're a right-handed quarterback. He's able to torque his hips, get the arm out. Bring around the five. Travis Homer alongside Perry to throw again. All kinds of time, and it's a touchdown. Fit it into Darrell Langham. On third and goal, just calm the freshman in the pocket with a little touch throw. Miami does have all three of their timeouts. Just keep that in mind in case they can get Carolina into a third down type situation. This is Williams straight ahead running. And Antonio Williams, the Ohio State transfer who had an excellent game last week. Got to keep the tailback running game going. And I think they have done both. They got better than 140 yards rushing. Surratt, though, is going to be flipped over. Does a somersault. As Shaq Quarterman gets another tackle, and now a timeout is used. At with his with his uh, shoulder in a brace. A terribly painful injury, and he hung in there. This throw, another dangerous one, and that goes way backwards. And the tackles for loss are piling up. Surratt's got to throw that one away, doesn't he? Perhaps you're thinking avoid disaster. Yeah, I would do something very conservative here just to get into the half. They are going to throw the ball, and it is picked off again. Can this one come back? They've already scored twice on defense. They're not going to score here, but it's another turnover this time. Javante Dean with the interception. It means all three receivers are tight. And when they dispersed, all of them went and spread the field. He tried to throw the wheel route. He never saw it coming. Seven seconds to play with two timeouts. Nikosi Perry from the shotgun. He's going to hand the ball off. D.J. Dallas straight ahead. Dallas on the move. Inside the 15, he gets down. Clock moving four, and they will stop the clock with four seconds now. Carolina is pretty good at blocking kicks. They're good special teams. That one, no chance. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it all along. I told you. He did take points. a deep breath. <laughs> Doris said he told his guys, "We've got 30 more minutes. If we didn't turn the ball over, we'd be in this game." He trusts Nathan Elliott here, and he said they've got to make some big plays. Best first half in an ACC game in more than a decade for Miami. The defense on the field now, and the ball's on the ground. A missed exchange. Miami thinks they have it. Carolina turned it over three times in the first half. Have they done it again? The answer is yes. All right, Jonathan, if you look at the body language right now, and this is what can't happen. These guys, they can't let this game get away from them. Still waiting to get the ball snapped. Finally, they do. Under another carry, and he will drag a defender for a first down Miami. Second and nine for Miami, their first drive after halftime, after coming up with a turnover, and that's a sack for Carolina. The ball comes out. Tar Heels have it, scooped up by the big defensive lineman. And North Carolina comes up with the turnover. Jeremiah Clark got the ball. Tar Heels will have it back, and maybe that's the first mistake from the freshman. May have been down by contact. Over four times. Right. Miami wants to look at it. No, I think uh, the ball no, is out. That ball's out. That one's going to stand. Carolina will have it when we come back. For pitching in. Second down and a tackle behind the line of scrimmage again. Mike Smith, who's come in for the injured Shaq Quarterman, and he's playing like Shaq plays. Third and 11. Another uncomfortable spot for Elliott and the Tar Heels. They're just handing the ball off, and Miami saw that coming. 
Gerald Willis with the tackle. It's fourth down. Excitement has not been diminished by the way they play tonight. On the edge, Dallas really had nowhere to go. Pushed out of bounds. Maybe that's part of the reason behind sticking with the young quarterback. We figured we might have a rotation. That went into traffic. Tipped up and intercepted. Good play on the ball by North Carolina. Now the return coming the other way. It is Bryson Richardson. So the second straight turnover for Miami. Defense, look guys, they're not quitting. They're staying with this. That was a throw that he probably wish he had it back. He tried to hit the seam ball. The safety was over the top. The nickel was underneath it. And North Carolina just quite frankly. Long. They have to really push the issue. Elliott tipped incomplete with a penalty flag for home. All kinds of contact in the backfield in both directions to make Miami sweat a little bit. The handoff. Brown got to the corner inside the 15. Still on his feet inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal. Tar Heels Jordan Brown with the carry. Second and goal. All the way back at the 22. Elliott throws. That one was going nowhere again. In fact, here's where it's going way back. And I mean way back. Swarmed yeah. by the Hurricanes defense, Daz Newsom. Lateral. Miami is too fast defensively. You have one guy in the quarterback's face. You have three, four, five guys swarming to the ball. You have to get north and south as quickly as possible. Now pass interference. A little play fake. The pressure picked up into coverage. Almost intercepted. 48-yard try for Freeman Jones. The kick is off the upright and no good. Got to respond favorably so his teammates say, this is our guy. Well, a fumble. Homer put it on the ground, and now he's going to be tackled for a loss. It was already second and 18. Miami's going way backwards now. They're in the process of making three really good stands. It's third and 26 for Perry and Miami. Play fake. Immediate pressure again. Nikosi Perry scrambling, keeping the play alive, and he's going to run all the way back across the field. Can he get away? No. And Perry got some of the yardage back. Miami, because Kelly Bryant has left the program. Yep. He's transferring out. And well, it's well, now the ball's out again. I thought he was down, and I think he was down. Yeah, Rep is saying he was down. Not graduated. Not moved on, although Kelly Bryant now has, but all have been replaced after those highly successful years. I, I can't ever remember a flurry of those kinds of moves. Nathan Elliott stays on the field for North Carolina. They've got quarterback issues in a different way. The Tar Heels do. Elliott swings it out to the right side. Williams slips one tackle and a second. Williams tough running with a penalty flag thrown. I think this one could be coming back. Fourth and 12. Carolina's going for it. They're not punting it. Elliott down the field, kind of a back shoulder throw, and Ratliff Williams makes a catch. Got his foot down inbounds, a huge conversion. Not the first down play where he got smoked and threw it away. Now it's second and ten. Elliott, there's that perimeter throw, and Miami's just defended those beautifully. They, they're too, they're, they're too fast. They get the play snapped. Good protection. Surratt throws. It is complete. Now that's well short of the mark. They'll go for it on fourth down. They already went for it on fourth and 12 with Elliott. 15 minutes to go, 33 to 10 to score. Chaz Surratt throws, and it's intercepted. And this one may come back. We'll see. Surratt, can he catch him? The answer is no. All the way. End zone. Touchdown, Romeo Finley. Never saw Finley. He threw the ball. Look at Finley standing right in the throwing lane of the slant. He never saw him. That's an easy pick six. See, that tells me he's not reading the defense. He had predetermined before the ball was snapped where he was going to go. I think it definitely gets in their head. I mean, one thing is they make such right a show out of it when they come up with a turnover. It's not just the chain on the sideline. By the defensive line, the secondary, everybody. Let's give Manny Diaz a lot of credit because you know what? Yes, he's got talent. These guys are in the right spots and play hard. Look at that physical play on the perimeter. We talked about their speed. In their conference opener, and they put 38 on the board against Pitt. Maybe could have been even more. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about these lateral plays. They're not going to work against a team this fast. 12 is not manageable. No. Fourth and seven. Pressure comes, throw, not even close. No. Nice tight man defense. 
I want to bring Rozier in, but if Perry is playing well, we're going to keep the hot hand. And Perry started off this game very hot, played very well, cooled off in the second half. Off and Dallas around the corner penalty flag comes Dallas is going to go down stay in bounds keep the clock moving but then he looks behind and sees that yellow flag on the grass almost ideal spoken like a uh, head coach <laughs> you yeah, win not. the game and then you teach and Travis Homer shedding Carolina defenders for a first down run and I'm glad you brought that up Jimmy. from a pistol type formation they will hand it off DJ Dallas bounces it First down and more. Stays in bounds, then goes out of bounds. That's not going to stop the clock for too long. Point the football moving forward as well. Goes down Miami. Dallas, nice cut. Dallas to the 10. Inside the 10, it's going to be first and goal for the Hurricanes. In the last few years look, in the ACC. Look for a repeat of the same play, same Dave, play. or a fade route. There it is. Repeat. Touchdown. This time he's definitely in. So Gray gets the score. You get a, a hat on a hat, as we call it. Too easy. Well, again, you got a 240-pound. The time and the chance to make good on that ability. First down, Carolina. As we put this one to bed, the Tar Heels are trying to get back home and regroup. Obviously, people have had success with that. But look, Penn State's got to create explosive plays as well as take those away from Ohio State's offense. Yeah. I think Dwayne Haskins will get the job done. He's a very, very good quarterback. Coach, what do you think? I think exactly the same thing. I think they're too explosive on offense, guys. They've got weapons. They can run the football. Another turnover. Did they get a final one? Icing on the cake. Yep. Had the stats. <laughs> For chain or two. The final few seconds, it is Cade Weldon who gets to take the last snap. The only one that wasn't taken by Nikosi Perry. He is the story of the night. That and the powerful, explosive Hurricanes defense. A dominating win. 47-10 Miami over North Carolina.